Hello everyone! So today we are going to take a look at how to format the data uh, from my text boxes to insert into the database um, and look at why we need to do that. Um, so first of all what we're going to do is just put a breakpoint here on connect database because for the majority of this um, tutorial, we're just going to be stopping there and looking at what it will output um, and then checking in SQL here if it's a valid um, string or not. Um, so basically, let's talk first about why we've got the single quotes here. So to insert data into a varchar field in a database, you would need to put the single quotes around it so that SQL Server recognizes that it is a string. So if I just show you the difference here between if we take off this single quote and this single quote um, and type into, let's run our form and then type it into, um, let's have Harry wrong tab field, my tabs are not in order, I'll fix that another day. Um, when I press add there, uh, it will break there on connect database like we've told it to. So if I just have a look at the string it's created there, and um, let's just copy it out into SQL so that it will highlight properly for us. We can see there that where I've not put the single quotes on either side, um, that is not going to work when we try to insert into SQL because SQL is going to say, mm, what is this? There we go, invalid column name, because it doesn't recognise that it's a string. If I was to just do this way, for example, um, let's just parse it rather than um, insert it, it is aware now that that's a string we're trying to pass into it. So we do always stop that. need to wrap strings with the single quotes there. Now, these are also important because they signify the end of a string as well. So if, for example, in here, I put a single quote here into my text field and have a look there, we can see here, if I try to run this in SQL, we're going to get an error again because it then thinks that this part isn't part of the string and then tries to carry on when it picks up the next um, single quote. Now this plays a really big part in SQL injection which is something I will cover um, at some point, that's probably going to be a long one. Um, so we'll get some fun stuff out of the way first <laughs> and then I will cover that one. Um, but it is very important especially when you are creating um, apps within BBA and well, basically whenever you're doing anything with a database to be honest. Um, but we can see here that because we have typed a single quote into the box, um, it now doesn't recognise this whole thing as a string. So this then does become a problem when, for example, you've got names like um, O'Shea, let's go with that because that's a valid name, and you kind of have the problem of like, uh, how are we going to do that then? <laughs> So, what the best thing to do is to wrap a replace around your text box and then we're going to replace one single quote with two. So let's copy that for surname as well. Um, I have there replace. So let's have a look at that. So we can see there now that it's just replaced the um, one single quote with two. And so SQL will still insert that and also put the um, single quote in the right place. So happy days. Now the next thing to think about is numbers. If we're inserting anything with numbers, we do not need to wrap that in single quotes because integers do not need the quotes in SQL. Um, but when we're using like dates, for example, like if I put, let's get date of birth back in here now, date of birth. Um, let's copy that. That will also require the quotes around it, date of birth. There we go. Oh, yeah. double ampersand, remove that. 
Um, let's just check that. Happy days. So let's put a date of birth in here now. Um, Capitalise the S and let's change the name. Let's have 19th of October and 1987. Oh, gosh, I can't type. There we go. Um, so let's have a look at what that would look like there. And we can see there that now we've got the dates um, all formatted with the single quotes as well. Um, actually, because I've got that um, box here set, and let me show you properly, sorry, wrong one. Um, I do have this box here set as a date field already. Um, and because my um, date of birth field is a date field in SQL Server, that magically looks great. Um, but quite often you will find that the date does not format how you want it to, in which case you also need to wrap a format around a date field just to be certain. So, yes. So let's just pop that there, and then we'll have comma, year, year, month, month, and date, date. Um, and that looks right, doesn't it? And then let's just remove that, and let's go straight with it, if it will work. Um, what's our customer called? Um, Jazz. Oh gosh, my tabs. I need to sort that out, sorry. So my tab order um, in between these boxes, I've got them in the wrong way, so that when I press tab in first name, it's going straight to date of birth. <laughs> Shoddy ordering. <laughs> Let's go with 10, um, 1987, I said, didn't I? Oh, not a valid date. And there we go. Add, and that will add our customer there straight for us because it's formatted it all correctly, which is awesome. Um, now, you may notice that it's quite a lot of text now in between um, adding each field, and I've not even talked about nulls yet. Um, I'm gonna, Actually, I'll do a second video on that on nulls, just in case people are interested in the null but not the formatting and vice versa. Um, but you'll see after that video that then this gets even bigger. Um, so what we will do after that as well is we'll make a sub um, that will replace all of this for us um, a bit more succinctly than we've got there. Um, but that's pretty much it for now. That's how to format each of the fields. So the string fields get the single quotes, um, integer fields or number fields, which I don't have in this example, do not need the single quotes. Dates do, um, and you can also format them there using format and the year, month and day. And that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so if you found the tutorial useful, please do give it a like. Um, and please subscribe to our channel and feel free to add any comments below. Thank you for watching.